So, you want to make comics. Let's do that. Everyone wants to make comics, but not a lot of people know how. So I thought I'd try to fix that. In this series, I'm going to try to teach you everything that I know about comics. And probably also learn a little bit more myself. Speaking of myself, hi, I'm Corin, or as I'm better known, Brie Crozier. I'm an illustrator and writer with a degree in both of those things and an emphasis in comics. I've been making comics for over seven years and have been studying the craft of comic making for about six. I've written and illustrated dozens of shorts, one pages, dailies, issues, uh, and even a 200 page uh, graphic novel, which you may not see as it was a fanfiction. Oh my goodness, what? I'm currently working on a horror comic anthology called House and Home, which you can find linked to in the doobly doo. Oh my goodness, hi! Shut up. Whoa, oh my god! Do you want to be in this shot? Is that what you want? You wish to be perceived? Perceive him. This series is going to be both an introduction for people who've never touched a pencil before, as well as a refresher course for anyone who has made as many comics as I have. Uh, and also it's going to be something a little bit in between for everyone who is in fact a little bit in between those two things. At the end of each video, I'm going to give you an exercise which is going to help you improve your comic making, writing, and illustrating abilities. This video, part one, will be an introduction. Think of it as syllabus day. I'm not going to get too far into comics history, but if that is something that people would be interested in, please let me know um, and I can put together a little something. Um, I haven't done, I mean, I know a lot about comics history, but I haven't done the research um, I feel would be necessary to, to fully write that um, sort of video, but um, I am no comics historian, but I can try for you, dear viewer. Yeah, let's learn about comics. I love comics. Hell yeah. Um, so now, with all that out of the way, uh, let's start asking questions. First question, what's a comic? <laughs> a comic can be a lot of things, and it really depends on who you ask. To me, a comic is a sequential narrative in illustrated form. I know that's pretty open, but I'm not really interested in rigid definitions in art. A comic can be whatever you want it to be. This definition could include things like visual novels and animation slash animatics, but honestly, I think that's okay. There is a lot of overlap between those things, and with the rise in webcomics, which can utilize animations, audio effects, and music, the lines really get blurrier and blurrier every day. There's a lot to explore inside of the realm of comics, and I highly encourage you to explore those in between places. Get in there, dig around, see what you find. Now, that being said, there are traditional aspects of a comic. A comic, or comic strip, is a series of still images that tell some sort of story. When we're talking about a traditional comic, there's several basic concepts and pieces we need to know. First of all, I covered panels already, but what are the things between the panels? The physical space of the page between panels is called a gutter. It's where everything that doesn't happen on a page is implied. I can't show you every little thing that happens in a comic, so when someone assumes what's happening between panels, they're performing closure. There's a balance you have to find between giving too much and boring or overwhelming your reader and giving too little, leaving them confused and unable to perform closure. There's even more you can do with a gutter, but we can talk about that later. Now, let's talk about what's in a panel. As I said before, the content of a panel is typically made up of images and or text. Now, that and or is really important. There's a lot of comics that are told with no words. These are called wordless or silent comics and they exclusively use images to tell their narrative. But there are also imageless comics. These utilize the format of comics to tell their narrative, but they only do it through text. Which, speaking of text, text in a comic is typically housed of either a speech bubble or a text box. Now, next step, what do you need to make a comic? All you need to make a comic is a mark making tool and something to mark on. That's it, that's all you need. Traditionally, that would mean paper and a pencil, but not always. With the rise of digital media, perhaps that means your phone or an iPad or a computer. This is a comic I drew entirely with random office supplies at work. I used red ballpoint pen to do my sketch and then black ballpoint to ink. For color, I used magenta, cyan, and yellow highlighters. And this is honestly one of my favorite comics that I've made recently. You can make literally anything out of anything. I've seen people make incredible comics with copy paper and Crayola crayons. You don't need anything fancy. All you need to make a comic is something to mark with and something to mark. So let's make a mark. Now comes for the hardest part, actually making a comic. 
I am constantly asked by people who want to make comics how to start making comics. And I can give you as much advice as I want about what kind of materials to use, what to read, what to watch, what to listen to. I can give you advice about how composition works, I can tell you all this and that, I can wax poetic about the glories of the gutter. But none of that is going to actually tell you the first step to making a comic, because no one wants to hear the first step to making a comic. So I'm going to tell you now the first step to making a comic. All right, you ready? I'm gonna tell you. The first step to making a comic is to make a comic. That's it. That's the first step. I'm so I'm very sorry to, to break it to you. The first step to making a comic is to make a comic! So let's make a fucking comic! Because, like, believe me, I hear the voice too. The one that says, oh, you're not good enough to make this one. It's not going to turn out good. It's not going to look good. It's going to be bad. You're going to do a bad one this time and all other times as well. Um, and to that I say, oh well, I'm still going to make a comic because the only way to get better is to do it. Maybe I don't have the skills right now to make what I want, but every time that I write a comic, make a comic, draw a panel, every time I do anything that's related to comic making, I learn something new that's going to help me make a better comic. I'm going to learn the skills that I need to make my goddamn comic. And I'm still going to come out with a comic! Because guess what? When you make a comic, you have a comic. You don't have to show it to anybody, but you made a comic, and you are a comic making person. You are a comic maker. You've made a comic. Congratulations, you did it, you made a comic. That's so exciting. I, get, I really love comics, I just get so excited. I have a degree in comics, isn't that wild? You can get a degree in that. Crazy. Let's get started. Comics. Now for the actual comic exercise. This exercise is to make a short three panel comic about your day. I only want you to spend about half an hour on it. You can use anything you want to make this comic. Um, <laughs> this is just to get you to make something. And don't worry, I'll make one too. If you want feedback, feel free to at me on Instagram and Twitter at ear underscore a underscore corn and Tumblr at ear dash a dash corn and tag corn crits comics. Um, I don't know how many people are going to do this, but I'll try to give you a crit. Um, I can't promise uh, I can get to everyone, so if you make a comic and ask for a crit, try to look for anyone else who has and leave them some feedback too. Um, but be kind. Wheaton's Law applies. Don't be a dick. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something, and I hope you made a comic. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them below in the comments. I would love to hear them, and or... If you have a suggestion for a topic you'd like me to cover in one of these videos, have a suggestion for a um, comic exercise or anything like that, or if you just have like a webcomic you want to show me, like, dude, please, I love webcomics so much, please show me. Uh, also, thank you to Beauty Snake. Uh, she has really good animation, uh, and she is a friend of mine. We play D&D together. Uh, <laughs> so please go check out her channel. I have, and I don't know where the card is on there there it's somewhere around here click on it it'll take you to her channel she has really really cool animations um and she let me use some clips uh for this video so that i could talk about the uh the animation and comics and how they kind of overlap uh i hope you guys have a wonderful day and make some fucking comics <laughs> bye <laughs>